Hi everyone, my name is Kate and today we're going to crochet this cropped Barbie long sleeve. Many of you on my Instagram wrote me that I look like a Barbie and I wanted to thank you. And I think why not to crochet something in this style? And this is my result cropped long sleeve with a B. And you see the B in the mirror vision. Uh, in real life it's normal B. This long sleeve can be worn with top or short and it looks very cute and beautiful. Also you can make it without the B. With this band at the bottom, this sweater reminds me of sporty glam style that was popular in early Y2K. For this project you will need three sizes of the hook, but it's okay if you use only two sizes of the hook too. The smaller hook we will use for the band and the bigger hook we will use one for the sleeve and the second one for the top. The crocheting is very simple and very fast, even a beginner can cope with it. The hardest part is to sew all these things together. Soon on my YouTube there will be 10,000 subscribers, so let's get it until the end of the summer. I'll be very glad if you subscribe to my channel, like this video and also subscribe to my Instagram. So let's get started. So we will need two skeins of yarn in 100 grams, 240 meters. I have this shiny yarn in pink color from Allison and May. Also we'll need three hooks, 8 millimeters, 10 millimeters and 4 millimeters. Markers and station needle, scissors, tape measure and for the letter B a little white yarn white or transparent thread and usual needle. We start from the front part of the body. Take 8 mm hook and make the first loop. Make a chain of 36 air loops. Yarn over and insert the hook into the third loop, the one on the hook doesn't count. Grab the yarn and crochet three loops on the hook together. Then yarn over again, insert the hook into the next loop, grab the yarn, crochet three loops together. It's a half double crochet. So crochet like this with half double crochets until the end of our chain. Try to crochet not so tight but more freely. The last half double crochet and this is what we have our first row. Now chain 2, 1, 2 and turn your work. Yarn over and insert the hook into the very first loop right here. Grab the yarn and make a half double crochet. Yarn over again, insert the hook into the next loop and make another half double crochet. Crochet like this until the end of the row with half double crochets. The last half double crochet we need to make in these side loops right here. This is our second row, looks like. Chain of two and turn your work. Yarn over and insert the hook into the very first loop and make a half double crochet. Yarn over again and so on until the end of the row. So we crochet like this in total 8 rows up. Don't forget to make the last stitch in the row in this loop. This is my 8 rows, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and it's 10.5 height and width about 43 cm. And now we're gonna make decreases, for this we need the markers to mark a center of our top and the places where we start our decreases. So I count 17 stitches and mark 17 because we had 34 loops. Mm -hmm. 
and the second market to the next loop because from the other side we also have 17 stitches. From one side count 11 stitches and mark 11. From the other side make the same. And now put the hook into the loop, make chain of 2 and turn your work. And now make 9 half double crochets and then we'll make decrease. And now we're gonna make decrease with 10th and 11th loop. So yarn over, put the hook into the 10th loop, grab the yarn and crochet only two loops on the hook, like this. Then yarn over again, put the hook into 11th and crochet all four loops on the hook together like this. Then chain of two, one, two and turn your work. Now we're gonna crochet only 10 loops, so yarn over, insert the hook into the very first loop and make half double crochet, then yarn over again and make half a double crochet until the end of the row. And then make chain of 2 and turn your work. And now crochet only 8 half double crochets because in 9th and 10th we'll make the decrease. It's our 9th and 10th loop. Yarn over, insert the hook into the 9th, grab the yarn and crochet only 2 loops on the hook, then yarn over again, put the hook into the 10th loop and crochet all 4 loops on the hook together. Chain of 2 and turn your work. And continue crocheting half double crochets without decreases until we have in total 16 rows. And don't forget to crochet this last stitch after the row with decrease. So I have my 16 rows, chain 1 and leave a longer tip and cut the yarn. And pull out the loop. And now we need to make the same second shoulder. We need to turn our work like this. Insert the hook into this loop where we have a marker. Grab the yarn and pull it out. And now make chain of two. One and two. Yarn over, insert the hook into the same place. Grab the yarn and crochet only two loops on the hook. Then yarn over again, insert the hook into the next loop and crochet all four loops on the hook together. So we just made a decrease. Then crochet as usual until the end of the row with half double crochets. Chain of two and turn your work. This row without decrease, so crochet only 10 half double crochets. The last half double crochet in this loop, chain of 2 and turn your work. And now we'll start with the crease. Yarn over, insert the hook into the first loop, crochet only 2 loops, yarn over again, insert the hook into the next loop and crochet all 4 loops together. Then crochet as usual until the end of the row. Chain of 2 
chain of two, turn your work and continue crocheting rows with half double crochet without decreases until we reach 16 rows up. The last stitch in this row we crochet here in these loops. It's the row after the row with decrease. And this is what I have. Chain one, leave a longer tip and cut the yarn. So it's our front part and the height of the shoulder is 27.5 cm and the width is 8 cm. And now we need to crochet the back part. It's just a rectangle without decreases, just half double crochet 16 rows up. So at first we make chain of 36 and insert the hook into the third loop and crochet half double crochet 16 rows up. So this is how looks my back part. And now we're gonna join them together. On the back part I left a longer tip, so with it I will join the front and back part. If you didn't, it's okay, just use the yarn from the bow. Insert the hook into the very first loop from the back and front part, grab the yarn and pull it out, crochet one loop on the hook and insert the hook into the same place and crochet two loops on the hook. Insert the hook into the next loops, grab the yarn and crochet two loops on the hook together. It's a single crochet. So insert the hook into the next loop and make a single crochet again. So at all we need to crochet 9 single crochets, because on the shoulder we have 9 loops. Try to make single crochets freely, don't tighten it. At the end make one air loop and pull it out. This is what we have and from the other side make the same. Now you can hide the ends in the shoulder seam. And now we're gonna make the sleeves. At first we need to make a rubber band. So take your smaller hook, make the first loop and then chain of 9. This chain will be the width of the band. Insert the hook into the second loop from the hook, the one on the hook doesn't count, grab the yarn and crochet two loops together, then insert into the next loop and crochet single crochet. So crochet like this until the end of the chain. Chain 1 and turn your work. Insert the hook into the second loop through the back loop, like this. Grab the yarn and crochet two loops together. Insert the hook into the next loop through the back loop and do the same. So we crochet like this until the end of the row. But the very last loop we crochet by two strands, like this. Chain one and turn your work. Insert the hook into the second stitch through the back loop and crochet like this until the end of the row and the last stitch crochet by two strands. So like this we crochet our band until it reaches the circumference of your wrist. 
the last stitch we always crochet by two strands. I crocheted 29 rows and it fits me well. And I can put my hand through it. Crochet the same second one and the last chain one and cut the yarn. The width is 3.5 cm and the length is 17.5 cm and my wrist circumference is 14.5 cm. And now I take my biggest hook 10 mm and chain of air loops that equal to the rows on your elastic band. So I have 29 rows in my elastic band, so I cast on 29 air loops. Plus 2 extra air loops, so at all I chain 31 air loops. You should add 2 extra to your chain too. The last air loops, yarn over and insert the hook into the third loop. Grab the yarn and crochet 3 loops together. So, our sleeve crochet the same at the back part of the top, just a rectangular, just 17 rows up. With half double crochets, so try to crochet it freely. At the end of the row, chain of 2 and turn your work. Yarn over and insert the hook into the very first loop right here and make a half double crochet. So crochet like this until we reach 17 rows up. So this is my 17 rows and to make your stitches more elongated just stretch your sleeve, but before it we make chain 1 and cut the yarn. Pull out the loop and start to stretch our sleeve. And now we're gonna join the band to the sleeve. Put your smaller hook and insert it in the very first loop of the sleeve and of the band, right here. And we're gonna make the loops into these recesses and bumps. Recesses right here and the bumps here. Recesses and the bumps. Insert the hook into the very first loop and grab the yarn. Pull it through the loop and crochet one loop on the hook. Insert the hook into the same places. Grab the yarn and crochet two loops on the hook together. Then insert the hook into the next loop on the sleeve and into the next loop, into the band, and make a single crochet. And crochet like this until the end of the band. And then chain 1 and cut the yarn. Pull out the loop. And our first sleeve is done. 
and crochet the same another one. And you can hide all the ends in this seam. I crocheted the second sleeve and now we'll join it to the body. Place it the wrong side outwards. And the sleeve wrong side outwards too. I have 29 stitches on my sleeve and 16 rows on the back part of the body and on the front part of the body. To start joining the sleeve we need to count 14 rows. And from the other side 14 rows too. The 15th is our seam. Insert the hook into the very first stitch on the sleeve and 14th row from the top of the body. Grab the yarn and pull it through the loops like this and crochet one loop on the hook. Then insert the hook into the same place and crochet two loops on the hook again. Then insert the hook into the next loop on the sleeve and in the next row on the body. And crochet two loops on the hook. The rows on the main body are not these brooches, but these stitches and you need to insert the hook into them. So crochet like this until we reach the shoulder seam. On the shoulder of the 15th stitch we crochet in this seam, like this, by two strands. And then crochet as we did before. Check your slip stitches, don't tighten. At the end chain 1, cut the yarn and pull it through. From the other side join the sleeve the same way. I didn't tell you the sizes of the sleeve, so the length is almost 49 cm and the width is 24 cm. And now we're gonna join the sides of the long sleeve. So take your hook and put it into the first loop, it's our first row of the body. And from the other side too. Grab the yarn, pull it through the loops, crochet one loop on the hook, insert the hook into the same place and crochet two loops on the hook together. And here we should insert the hook into these brooches between the rows. So insert the hook into this brooch from one side and from the other side and make a single crochet. Then insert the hook into the next row and crochet, single crochet until we reach the sleeve. On the sleeve we crochet the same as on the body, so insert the hook into the brooches between the rows and make a single crochet and then insert the hook into the stitches and make a single crochet too. So crochet like this until we reach the band. And don't tighten your loops.
and on the band take a smaller hook and continue crochet single crochets. At the end chain 1 and cut the yarn, pull out the loop. And from the other side make the same. And now we need to crochet the band again, 2 pieces, to the bottom of the top. And it should be equal to the length of the bottom of the top, so, so the number of the rows may be different for everyone. I crocheted 80 rows. And also we need to crochet the third band to the top and to crochet this band we need to count the number of stitches on the neck. So I start counting from the back part, then I go to the front part and count every stitch that I see. So I have 65 stitches and I need to crochet 130 rows my band. So the number of rows should be twice as large as your number of loops. The length of the small band is 42 cm and the length of the long band is 68 cm. Let's start to join the long band. I found the center of the back and mark it with a marker. I take a smaller hook and insert it into the center loop on the back and into the first loop on the rubber band. Grab the yarn and pull it through the loops and crochet one loop on the hook. Then I insert the hook into the same places and crochet two loops on the hook together. Then I insert the hook into the same loop on the back but into another loop on the band and crochet two loops together. Insert the hook into the next loop on the back and into the next loop on the rubber band and crochet single crochet. Put the hook into the same loop on the back but to the next loop on the rubber band. So like this, in one loop on the back we crochet two loops on the rubber band. So continue crocheting like this until the end of the band. And at the end, join the band together. At the end chain 1 and cut the yarn. And this is what we have. We can hide the ends in this seam. And let's join the bottom band. Since I have 80 rows on the band and 34 loops on the body, 
So sometimes I will crochet three loops in one loop, not two. So especially made the band bigger so it doesn't tighten the bottom. I join the band as we did on the neck. At the end chain 1, cut the yarn and pull out the loop. And this is what we have, we can hide all the ends and one thing we left is the letter B. For it I need a little white yarn, I fold it in half and then again in half, so I will crochet it in two threads. I take a smaller hook and make the first loop. I throw one end of the yarn on the hook and crochet the other end these two loops. Then again throw one end on the hook and crochet two loops with the other end. And I crochet like this until I reach the desired length. The length is 20 cm. I pull out the loop and make two knots and cut the yarn. And then I need to make the same but short cord. Pull out the loop, make two knots and you may hide the ends or cut the yarn. The length is 4.5 cm. And now we need a usual needle and thread. Play the bee like you want and sew the curls on the top and on the bottom with the needle. And also sew in the middle together with stick.
That's all and now with the transparent thread we need to sew it to the body of the long sleeve. Place the bee where you want and sew it through the stitches. And this is our result, such a cute Barbie long sleeve we have. As you may see, the crossing is not very difficult, but it contains many small actions. Write me in the comments do you like this long sleeve or not. I like it so much because it's pink and it's with shiny yarn, everything that I like. And also with a bee that's sending us to the Barbie, I like Barbie. When I was a child, I played computer games with Barbie, watched movies with Barbie, and I also have a house for Barbie, so in general I was a fan. So it was so exciting to crochet something in Barbie style. Thank you for watching this video, I'm sure you did it well. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, also subscribe to my Instagram. So see you guys in the next video. Bye kitties!